Recent updates have revealed that Sunspot AR-3664 is set to face Earth again around June 6, sparking concerns about potential geomagnetic storms. This re-emergence comes after this sunspot recently unleashed a powerful X-class solar flare, causing significant disruptions. In addition, hyperactive sunspot AR-3697 continues to produce intense solar flares. In this video, we will explore the intense solar flares from sunspot regions AR-3697 and AR-3664, their potential effects on our technology and daily lives, and why monitoring solar activity is crucial. Stick around to learn about the latest developments and what they mean for us. Sunspot AR-3697 has captured the attention of scientists and space enthusiasts alike. This sunspot is particularly notable because it's a re-emergence of AR-3664, which we discussed in a previous video. AR-3664 was responsible for a significant G5 geomagnetic storm that occurred a few weeks ago, producing some of the most vivid auroras seen in years. Now, as AR-3697, it has returned with renewed intensity. Recently, AR-3697 unleashed a powerful X-class solar flare, peaking at around 10.35 a.m. EDT, causing shortwave radio blackouts across Western Europe and the Eastern United States. These blackouts can disrupt communication systems, affecting aviation, maritime operations, and emergency services. Sunspots like AR-3697 are areas on the sun's surface with intense magnetic activity. These magnetic fields can become twisted and tangled, leading to the release of vast amounts of energy in the form of solar flares. X-class flares are the most powerful category, releasing energy, light, and high-speed particles into space, which can have immediate effects on Earth, especially on communication systems. Currently, AR-3697 is positioned on the eastern edge of the sun's disk. As the sun rotates, this sunspot is moving towards a position where it will directly face Earth. This trajectory is critical because it means that any further activity from this sunspot will have a more direct path to impact our planet. Scientists are closely monitoring its movement and behavior to predict potential future flares and geomagnetic storms. The potential for more X-class flares from AR-3697 is high. Scientists use various instruments and satellites to keep a watchful eye on sunspots, tracking their development and predicting possible eruptions. This continuous monitoring is crucial because it allows for early warnings of solar events that could affect Earth. Such warnings can help mitigate the impacts on communication systems, power grids, and satellites. The data collected from observing this sunspot will help us prepare for immediate impacts and enhance our overall understanding of space weather forecasting. The original Sunspot AR-3664, which we previously covered in depth, has once again made headlines with its powerful solar activity. On May 27, AR-3664 released a Class X2, eight solar flare, marking one of the most intense solar events in recent years. This event caused significant shortwave radio interruptions, although the coronal mass ejection associated with the eruption did not impact Earth. Nevertheless, the flare itself had substantial immediate effects, demonstrating the potent influence of solar activity on our planet. X-class solar flares are described by NASA as giant explosions on the sun that send energy, light, and high-speed particles into space. The recent X2. Eight flare exemplifies this unleashing a tremendous amount of energy that traveled at the speed of light. When this energy reaches Earth, it can ionize the upper atmosphere, creating a higher density environment for high-frequency shortwave radio signals. This ionization leads to increased collisions between electrons and radio waves, causing signals to degrade or be lost entirely. Comparing this flare to the one from AR-3697, both are X-class flares, indicating their extreme intensity. However, AR-3697's flare 
cause significant shortwave radio blackouts across many regions, while AR-3664's flare was slightly less intense but still had a substantial impact. The key difference lies in the associated coronal mass ejections. AR-3697's flare did not produce a CME that impacted Earth, while AR-3664's flare did produce a CME, but it was fortunately directed away from Earth, sparing us from further geomagnetic disruptions. A CME is a large expulsion of plasma and magnetic field from the sun's corona. If directed towards Earth, a CME can trigger geomagnetic storms, leading to disruptions in power grids, satellite operations, and navigation systems. In this case, we were fortunate that the CME did not impact us, but the event underscores the potential dangers of such solar eruptions. Looking ahead, there is considerable concern within the scientific community about AR-3664's future activity. This sunspot is expected to face Earth again around June 6. As it rotates back into view, there is a risk that it could generate another set of geomagnetic storms. These storms have the potential to cause more significant disruptions, making it critical to remain vigilant and prepared. The interaction between solar activity and Earth's magnetic field is a complex and fascinating subject. Recent studies have revealed significant differences in the magnetic field at the North and South Poles, which have profound implications for how solar storms affect our planet. Understanding these differences and their impact is crucial for predicting and mitigating the effects of space weather. Earth's magnetic field acts as a protective shield, deflecting charged particles from the sun and cosmic rays. However, this field is not uniform. It is notably weaker at the poles. This asymmetry means that regions near the poles are more vulnerable to the effects of solar storms. When solar flares and coronal mass ejections strike Earth, the charged particles they release can penetrate deeper into the atmosphere at the poles, causing increased auroral activity and posing risks to technology and health. Recent research has shown that the magnetic field at the North Pole is weakening more rapidly than at the South Pole. This weakening increases the vulnerability of the Northern Hemisphere to cosmic rays and charged particles from solar storms. As a result, areas near the North Pole could experience more frequent and intense geomagnetic storms. Additionally, a weakened magnetic field allows more cosmic rays to reach Earth. Cosmic rays are high-energy particles from outer space that can have harmful effects on both technology and living organisms. The recent intense solar activity from AR-3697 and AR-3664, combined with the variability in Earth's magnetic field, means that certain regions could experience more severe impacts. In practical terms, continuous monitoring of both solar activity and Earth's magnetic field is crucial. Instruments like satellites and ground-based observatories provide valuable data that scientists use to track sunspots, measure solar flares, and assess changes in the magnetic field. In conclusion, the recent activities of sunspot regions AR-3697 and AR-3664 remind us of the dynamic and sometimes unpredictable nature of our sun. These solar events not only create beautiful auroras, but also have significant implications for our technology and daily lives. By staying informed and understanding the science behind these phenomena, we can better prepare for their potential impacts. Thank you for watching, and make sure to stay curious and keep an eye on the skies for the latest in space weather updates. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more exciting space content.